Parent favoritism is common and developmentally appropriate, and it can also be really painful. It's a fact of life. Almost every child will favor one grown-up over the other at some point. It can happen with any adult in your child's life. Though favoritism is common, expected, and developmentally appropriate, it can also be so painful. As tough as it can be to be rejected, being the preferred one can be a challenge as well. You may feel smothered, needed, and clung to, while worrying at the same time about mitigating the hurt your partner is feeling. No matter which side you find yourself on, trust that favoritism is a phase and it will pass. Here are some ideas for how to handle favoritism. Try not to take it personally. This is tricky. Being rejected hurts and it does feel personal. The truth is it almost always isn't. And in fact, it's a sign that your child feels safe enough in their relationship with you to experiment. Your child is secure enough in your love to know that he can jilt you and still get a warm welcome back, explains Krista L. Swanson, PhD, a child psychologist at the Early Childhood Center at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Don't put the emotional burden on your child. We know being spurned stings. A two-year-old isn't ready to truly empathize yet and doesn't understand that their words and actions can hurt us deeply. It may be tempting to say, that really hurt my feelings, and walk out of the room when your child screams for your partner, but it's already such a huge task for them to understand and control their own emotions. Having to be in charge of yours is too much. Schedule one-on-one -on -one time with each adult. One-on-one -on -one time, if possible, is good for everyone involved. If your child only wants to spend time with one adult, you can try deliberately setting up a special time with the other. I'm going to the store for a while, so you and daddy can spend some special time together. I've set out some of your favorite books for you to read. Be patient. This behavior will change, stop, start again, and take on different forms as your child grows. For now, the best way to weather the storm is to be patient and to be there for your child as they try out new behaviors, even when they sting.